everyone. I'm noticing that my basil is getting bigger and bigger, which is great. And I was going to show you a little tip on how to pick your basil so that you get the most leaf growth that you can get for the longest amount of time. This is very good. We want the basil for much of the year. So we go in, find bush like this. Uh, let me find one that is over here, this good one. Are we gonna go around Polytunnel? Have a little tour. Look at the mullein. Ah, it's like a candelabra. Okay, here we go. Here is one. That, oh, no, here we go. Okay, as you can see, I have been picking this one off at the top. Now, looky here, excuse me, little fly. We are starting to see flower coming. Okay. It's okay to flower, collect seed or not, just let to flower. It's okay eventually, but right now I don't want it to flower just yet. I'd like to get some more um, leaf growth out of it. So what I'm going to do is pinch it down to other leaf underneath. You see where every leaf has elbow, new leaf coming. Here elbow, new leaf coming. Here at top, sure hope I have this on here. Here at top. Little lovely new leaves coming through like that. I, they are good. So, what you want to do is take the top of this bit here, which is going to go to flower, and you pinch with fingernails, and you see what we have left? Two little new leaves that will come out here and here. And you can do this with every single apex, leaf apex. It's called apical dominance. It passes on to the next leaf, then this leaf becomes leader leaf, leader shoot. With the flowering one, I'm going to pick it down a little bit farther than this. So all this stalk too. So I've picked off quite a lot here, okay, but take the stalk too, which you can just blitz up in pesto or whatever, just put it in food, just eat in salad. And so we've come right down to here. Now these are going to keep trying to flower. So I'm going to keep pinching off tops so that I get more leaf. And as I go, I'm going to take off a few of the big leaves as I go as well, but not too many because you've got to remember that the plant's making its food through those big green leaves. That's how it's photosynthesizing. So you mustn't take them all off. Just a few, but I've got a lot of basil got a lot of basil and I'm trying to freeze some of it to make some pesto and whatnot because now is the beautiful time that it is going for it absolutely going for it so I'm just pinching and this is a rule that you can use for all um, that I am very um, all over the place today and this this so far the last few days all different um, I'm melding a lot of personalities, I think. Horseflies. Now, I don't like to be bitten horsefly. I don't like it and I end up to kill you because it makes me want to kill you when you bite me. Hello, body man. There's many horsefly in here, watch out. Bitey, bitey ones. Mama? Um, Is so... there any flowers that I can pick? Exactly. Yeah, all of these can you can pick. Any of those, any of those. Yeah. Basically any flower in here you can pick and eat. This is a very safe place. I, f I, I, I find out the other day, foxgloves, because I have a lot growing in here, I have to be very careful because the kids, they come down and they um, just pick a lot of leaf, a lot of plant, make themselves little food, little snacks, great. But I find out foxglove only takes, I think, two grams of leaf to kill somebody. Actually die from just two grams of leaf. So watch out for foxgloves growing near food if you have children that they are picking bits and bobs. I've had to be very careful with this and sh just explain to them, don't pick this plant. Um, so they're pretty knowledgeable now, they just need to be told, but maybe not a good thing to grow right next to a food plant. So, as I was saying, I've been changing a lot. I'm doing it now. I'm well aware of it. This mullein, 
changes every day the shape this one here this arm here every day i come different shape this melane to me i see medicinal herb i see medicinal leaf medicinal flower i see beauty i see a lot but it's so much more than this because look at this home for spiders to make web catch flies food for insects bee flies, and so many and insect on this all the time so many different kinds little wiggly bum one there and spider living in there and spider web here and then underneath is create shade for little insect it creates shade on ground for other plant to grow it's spreading water around itself it's sharing water around it's taking water itself this plant is so much more than what I just see. I mean, it's multidimensional as everything, but it's just multifaceted. Even just here in, on Earth is so many things. It does not fit into one category. One day I say, today you are going to be medicine to me. Um, today I just come and look at you for beauty. But it's every day different. And it has so many possibilities. And I want to keep the plants in mind that I don't box them in <laughs> to just one thing that I see from them because these plants they have they are so much more they provide so much more for so much and they are so much more and I think I think this is good lesson to learn anyway I am Sula today I am gardener and mum and wife and friend and sister and person who has done this and has done that and every day I am something different and every day it's okay to let yourself be something different and not box yourself in because these boxes okay we say I don't like label I don't like box I agree I don't like label I don't like box but we make these so solid we even tell children when they are growing up you are so clever or you are slow you are fast at writing you are not good at this you are not good at that even the things you are good at then you have expectation you think i have to keep being good at this uh, or no one's going to recognize good quality so be careful how you say to child you are this you are that every day you wake up today i am maybe a book writer maybe an artist maybe a gardener again today maybe i am whatever i am grumpy angry happy joyful spaced out having battle with computer whatever it is today i am this maybe this can change but this can change all can change and you can be different every day and you don't have to fit into category i am herbalist i am vegetable grower i am fruit grower i am gardener i am pe some people call me a witch okay whatever some people call me other thing these things no i don't like to make solid and i hope if i cannot do that to plant and i not do that to self then maybe other people will feel i won't do that to them so then they can be whatever they want to be but they don't have to stick to it either the next day maybe one day they say yeah i'm gonna do this today oh well uh, you better get really good at that and be that every day the next time i see you then no you don't have to you can just be that and the next time i see you oh yeah no i'm i'm a doctor now <laughs> today i decided to start studying to be surgeon who knows whatever just let it let it evolve let it be loose let the solid cement blocks in your mind crumble down and then you don't have to keep building them but we do so when we keep building them we remember that they can be crumbled down and go and disappear and be free again to evolve and flow and be whatever and right now i am basically a woman who is hiding in her polytunnel so that she doesn't have to keep fetching bloody rice cakes and crackers for children <laughs> i don't know about anyone else but i get to hear mommy can i have a rice cake so many times <laughs> i love them but fucking rice cakes <laughs> Anyway, Malayne gave me a good lesson today. Let me change, Sula. 
Let me be whatever shape I want to be. See how I am so much more than you see, more than you could even know, more than I can know. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Peace and love. Goodbye.